In a recent video, we showed you the free programs that we think are the best. Sadly, there is software that for a variety of reasons could do more harm than good. In this yearly roundup, I'll show you the free programs we believe should never be installed on any computer. I'll explain why they shouldn't be used, and if available, show you the free alternatives to those programs. Let's get started. First up is the Password Manager LastPass. Offering both free and paid plans, the service allows users to create, save, manage, and use their passwords across multiple platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Extensions are available for the popular browsers and has apps for both Android and iOS. LastPass has had numerous issues over the past several years. I won't bore you with all the details. A big one was in August of 2022, when a hacker stole a copy of the customer database and some copies of the customer's password vault, much of which was unencrypted. Later in the year, in December, it was revealed that they were hacked again. The sole job of a password manager is to keep their users' information safe. It doesn't appear that LastPass is doing a very good job of that. But wait, there's more. In September of this year, experts believe they have linked a LastPass security breach to a string of cryptocurrency heists. The amount stolen is more than $35 million from over 150 victims since December of 2022. If you need a free password manager with a better reputation and track record than LastPass, Bitwarden is a good alternative. Another password manager that's quite popular is the free and open source KeePass. Up next is the freemium VPN service, Ola VPN. It's used by people to access domains that are known to use geoblocking to access otherwise blocked content. The service is quite popular with programs, extensions, and apps for all the major platforms. Just because it's popular, that doesn't mean that you should use it. Making CloudWard's list of worst free VPN services, there are several allegations from one of the co-founders that if true are disturbing. What is true is that Ola does log user information. Some of that information is shared with trusted partners and third parties. And by using Ola VPN, you're consenting to having your computer be part of a botnet or your bandwidth is shared with other users unless you upgrade to their premium paid plan. A good free alternative to Ola VPN is the free edition of Proton VPN. They don't log your data, there are no ads, and no data limits. Adblock Plus is a popular Chrome and Firefox extension that can also be used with browsers based on Chromium. When installed, the small program runs in your web browser to block ads on websites. For many years, Adblock Plus has allowed companies to pay them to unblock their ads. This includes major companies like Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. Unfortunately, this is the default setting. This can be set to block all ads in settings, but many novice users will not know how to do this. In addition, Adblock Plus launched their very own ad network. I don't know about you, but I find it unacceptable for an ad blocking company to be selling ads. If you want a free alternative to Adblock Plus, uBlock Origin is the best. It can be used with Chrome, Firefox, and any Chromium based browser. It's the most efficient ad blocker there is, and as an added bonus, does not allow payola from companies to let their ads be shown. To view PDF files on your computer, there's Adobe Acrobat Pro for people that don't want to pay for it and just need the basic features like being able to view a PDF. There's the free Adobe Acrobat Reader. Don't waste your time installing it. It's bloated and slow to open PDFs. And they also use a shady tactic on their install page. Many users, because they're usually in a hurry, will just click on download Acrobat Reader. Many also won't notice that they're also installing McAfee Security Scan Plus. It's checked by default. This garbage tactic was common 10 to 15 years ago. Most competent developers learned the lesson that this builds mistrust with its users. I guess Adobe hasn't learned that lesson or doesn't care. A great free alternative to Adobe Acrobat Reader is Foxit PDF Reader. It's lightweight, so PDFs load quickly and includes other useful features that let you fill and sign forms and mark up your PDF. The operating system is the most important software on your computer. If you're a Windows user not running Windows 10 or Windows 11, your computer is no longer supported and no longer receiving security updates, leaving them vulnerable to attacks discovered after those dates. For instance, Windows 7 support ended on January 14th of 2020, and Windows 8.1 support ended on January 10th, 2023. 
if you're still running either of those, it's time to upgrade or buy a new computer. Or better yet, if you want to get away from using Windows, install one of the many free distros of Linux. Real quickly, if you're still using Internet Explorer, uninstall it now. It's officially out of support. Even prior to being retired, it had stability issues and was a security nightmare. There's tons of great browsers. If you want to stay in the Microsoft ecosystem, Edge is not completely terrible. Some people actually love it. For those of you feeling nostalgic, Real Player is still a thing. This nearly worthless media player that's been around since 1995 is still being used by people and updated on a regular basis. The propaganda on their website is hilarious. Keeping it real, this player has always had a bad reputation. Having tested it again recently, it's still extremely slow when trying to play video clips and support for video file formats is limited. If you want a far superior free media player than real player, VLC is great. Another solid choice that's highly customizable is SM Player. I'll keep this one short and sweet. Avoid using any extensions from companies that are known for antivirus and malware protection. Even if they do include additional features, they're usually not that good and are often used to gather more of your browsing information. Most browsers already have security features built in that can catch most problems. And besides, just about every antivirus that can be installed on your computer already monitors your web traffic for viruses and other malware. So just don't do it. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let us know in the comments the free programs you would recommend people not use and what alternatives you would recommend they use instead. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff.